Hello everybody and welcome back once again to some more Heroes of the Storm as well as some more unranked draft. Today on Black Hearts Bay and we are picking up Sonya. So I talked a little bit in the last episode about some of the reasons I was wanting to do these unranked videos and I got a good few in there but one I forgot too is that I want a reason and a reasonable place that I can practice some heroes that I'm not super used to that would be very useful to bring into Hero League. So that's why I've decided to pick up Sonya today. Our team, well, <laughs> at the moment, our team could have benefited from a frontline bruiser to go with our tank. Uh, we actually now with a, a Sonya Butcher... <laughs> I can go solo. Sonya Butcher, Thrall, Diablo, and... Of course, our Stukov. We are all melee heroes up against their KT, which is a little bit scary. There's the Gazla. So we're going to see what we can do. Um, not holding super tight on this one to happen, but we're going to do our best to fight off this Gazlo and soak things up a little bit. So for those of you who don't know, Sonya is a melee warrior. Different than a tank, please keep that in mind. She is a bruiser, not a main tank. And what she does is she's allowed to be super aggressive, but she plays a little bit like Artanis, where she kind of needs to stay aggressive if she wants to stay in the fight, like, properly. And as soon as she starts to run away, she has a little bit of trouble. So, uh, her Q ability is the Ancient Spear. This is a straight line skill shot that allows you to launch a spear out and hook onto the first target it makes contact with. This could be a minion, this could be a hero, this could be a tower, whatever it may be. When you do that, it does stun and deal some damage, and of course also pull Sonya towards that target. So it's her main form of engaging enemies. Her W is her Seismic Slam. This is a little bit of burst damage that you can see also does damage in a small cone behind it. And then her third ability is of course the Whirlwind which does a little bit of damage over an area, but for every little bit of damage it does, you also heal back for a percentage of, the, percentage of this damage. So as long as you can avoid CC, you actually have very good sustain, as long as you get in the middle of a bunch of stuff like this. So we can just spin to win on Gazlo for a little bit, get a little work done to him, and then we'll start backing up a bit, let him zap, and zap us with his laser. We will go ahead and throw some seismic slams down as well. Now, Zonia does not work Hold on. <laughs> Sonya does not work on your traditional, I want these coins, mana system instead as a barbarian. She works on rage. You can see our rage right here, sorry not rage, fury. And she uses that to spend her abilities, well to spend her W and her E. Her Q actually generates fury instead as well as auto attacking. Fury does not decay over time, but it does stay until you spend it. So we have 97 out of 100 now, and we're going to be keeping 97 until we decide to spend it or gain more later. Let's go ahead and try to turn in quick. I am going to pick up... Focus attack here. At level 1 we did pick up War Paint as well, which allows me to heal for a percentage of my auto attacks. I don't know what's going on. We don't have a Thrall or something? Oh, we don't have a Thrall. No, we do have a Thrall? I don't know. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> so again, it just allows us to come in here and continue to be a little more aggressive. The more aggressive we are, the more healing we receive, and the longer we can stay in the front line. Sonya is notoriously one of the best solo laners in the game. Oh, hello. Um, we're dead. <laughs> Was not expecting that. Gonna go for the stun. Oh, we're actually gonna make it. Did use my spear to stun the Genji there so he couldn't finish me off. Actually worked out quite well in our favor. Should go ahead and let them know that there's three bot now so we're going to try to be careful and just soak our lane get some health back diablo actually coming in okay all right i'll bite i'm going to spin to win they don't have any form of cc here so the more stuff i can spin to win in here the better chance i have of getting out of here but it is unfortunately not going to be enough they're going to pick up this first well are they I don't know, they're pretty weak. Stukov hits real hard. Oh, well, here's KT, so they're going to pick up this camp, but that's fine. Luckily, we did 
turn in our coins before that became a, any trouble here. At level 4 we did pick up focus attack. This of course just allows us to crit every once in a while and give us a little bit more damage. At level 7 I'm going to pick up the poisoned spear. This means that whenever I hit somebody... Wow, god there's so much junk here. <laughs> Whenever I hit somebody with my spear, I am going to be applying a pretty potent damage over time effect to them. That's just simply going to increase the damage that I can do to these guys. At the moment, I just need to focus on clearing this stuff out. They are getting a spell shield. Okay, never mind. Getting a spell shield from the minions there. I'm just going to actually continue to spin to win back here. Getting myself some health back. I thought I was soloing bottom. I don't know when this changed. Good job, guys. You did things without me being there. So, with certain builds, and really in general too, Sonya can be very good at jungling, which is great on this map. Having someone to run around and get these camps all over the place. She does have a little better of a time with Mercenary Lord, which I did not pick up. I took some extra damage instead, but she can still do a pretty decent amount of work without it. And grabbing these camps can, of course, give a decent amount of lane clear, or more lane of pressure, and of course also gives you coins on this map as well for the objective. I don't know why Gazlo's like not interested. Where'd he go? Gaz, buddy, where you at? We do have 12 coins to turn in throughout our team here. I'm gonna go ahead and try to turn... oh, okay, I could use some help. <laughs> Never mind, we are gonna have level 10 here, sooner rather than later. And I think at level 10, I'm going to go for Wrath of the Berserker, which is going to allow me to increase my damage by 40%. As long as it's up, I can keep it up longer if I can generate more and more rage. And there's, a, as I talked about earlier, a few ways that we can do that. Hi! I'm going to take down this KT if I can. <laughs> We're just going to spin to win for a second here, get that extra damage on him. And you can see we do have this bar ticking down now, but every once in a while we're going to see it go back up as we generate Wrath here. So I'm going to attack these guys to solid a little bit, I'm going to use my spear to generate even more, and all this time getting the 40% increased attack damage here. I want to engage, but at the same time I really want to keep this rage up as well. Oh, uh, well that's unfortunate. Don't know that I'm getting out of this. I am going to try to spin away if I can, generate a little more health. Stukov able to keep us alive there with his damage over time, heal over time. Thank god he's not damaging me over time. That worked out pretty well. Let's go ahead and ask that our team turns in. We do have level advantage right now. We have our ultimates and they do not, so this is a perfect time for us to get a free objective. And hopefully increase our advantage just a little bit more by taking out a few of these structures. I'm going to make my way back down to the bottom lane. Notice our Wrath of the Berserker is already up once again. As long as this the cooldown starts the second that you use Wrath of the Berserker. So if you can keep it up for 40 seconds by attacking things like we were there, attacking the mercenary camp, it will actually be off cooldown by the time it runs out. Which again, just really allows you to string together really good combos and get a whole lot of extra damage off. 40% is a huge number. Especially when you're talking about crits and things like that that Sonya gets. I am going to run over to this camp. As I do think we are at a point where we can take this, our team actually is soloing the boss right now. Which is scary, but, you know, <laughs> hopefully it's going to happen. I'm going to pop Wrath of the Berserker here just to make sure I can get this done in time. We're going to be here for a little bit, so we will get a decent amount of cooldown reduction from it as well. Or cooldown off our next cast of the ability. At level 13, I am probably going to go for the life funnel, which is going to increase the healing we get from our whirlwind. This is something that is really, really good for Sonya if the enemy team doesn't have any CC, which on this team, they pretty much, they have two skill shot CCs. That's about it, so let's go ahead and pick that up. Otherwise, I would consider picking up spell shield instead, or mythical spear if you need a way to get yourself out of team fights. There's a Gazlo up here that I would like to kill. I also want to kill this guy though. <laughs> kill him before the Gazlo. Let's go ahead and spin to win on the Gazlo here to get some health back as well as do some damage to him. Use a few seismic slams to finish that up. And let's see if we can't use our spear. There we go to re-engage on this Karazim. Taking him down as well. That is four kills, a quadra kill for our team right there. 
feels wonderful. Taking those tower shots, but it does not matter with all of our healing over time between myself and Stukov. Looks like we are going to get a free keep here. I'm going to actually use my Poison Spear to poison this building, who would have guessed, and then spin in this wave to just get a monstrous amount of health back. Go ahead and pop our Wrath of the Berserker, now that Stitches is a little bit too far committed. And let's engage on the enemy team again. They did get the CC on me there, so that does mean, oh, we might be dead here. I gotta spin to win. Now I just gotta leave. <laughs> again, if they can interrupt, that is your key way of killing Asonia. She can be nearly unstoppable in the right cir circumstances, but if you ever find yourself going up against Asonia, you need to draft some form of CC as soon as you can. Just something to interrupt her whirlwind, because so many Sonyas, myself included so far, are absolutely reliant on getting all that health back as fast as they can. So if you can take that spin away from her the instant that she casts it, and end up having, or end up, you know, she has to wait on the cooldown for it, she basically can't do anything for the time being, and it really hinders her a lot. I will not be denied. Well I thought Butcher was going down here, which is why I did not go to this one, but it looks like I will go ahead and take this quick. I am going to use my spear just to apply the poison. Spin to win because it does do a higher rate of damage for this chest. And pick up more coins than I am frankly comfortable carrying, although we do have a full talent tier advantage. At level 16, I am going to go ahead and pick up Nerves of Steel. This is going to allow me to pop a shield for 30? Yes, 30% 30 of my maximum health at any point that I may need a little bit extra durability. Sonya, as I mentioned earlier, she's not really a main tank, but she is... she's squishy to an extent at first. Again, like I said, if you can really interrupt her and use CC on her to stop her whirlwind. But post level 16, she can get just incredibly tanky using her Nerves of Steel, and then at level 20 we'll also be picking up Da, 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 da. Ignore pain, which is 75% damage reduction. <laughs> you cannot touch Sonya while she's got nerves of pain. Hey, did you know that Windows Defender has a summary for you? Also, did you know, fuck goddamn Windows? We won't get into that one. Not today. That's, that's more suited for streams. Not a fan. We are going to make our way up to the turn in here. It looks like our team is trying to do that as well. They should be fine without me for the moment. I'm going to make my way up here, though. We do have that level tier advantage. Let's see if we can't get a good pick on someone here, and that's going to do it. I think, yeah, with the Butcher coming in, that's definitely a dead charism. We're going to keep this KT locked down, and frankly, I think going to try to get in on the stitches. Nah, never mind. Not with the Bile here. We will instead go ahead and turn in, and actually, we don't need to, as Dukov does have that covered for us. This is going to get rid of the enemy's final keep, which is absolutely wonderful. We're missing our hook there, but that's fine. Our hook. Who are we playing? Stitches? No, this is Sonya. She's got a spear. So we should be able to take this fort down. Absolutely easy peasy. I'm going to go ahead and pop my Berserker get that extra damage because as long as we are attacking this it's just gonna be pretty much an unlimited oh an unlimited amount of fury here go ahead spin to win get some health back and let's just uh, I want to get on this core but I'm gonna get on this KT instead I think spin to win to finish him off oh no we left too early let's pop our shield here and let's just go ahead and lay into this Gazlo for a second, as long as he's going to let us spin to win to make sure we finish up the kill this time. And get back on the core, one more Poison Spear for good measure. And that is going to be GG while well, the Butcher busy doing boss. So, that went a lot better than I thought it was going to. That was awesome. So yeah, Sonya is a character I'm learning to pick up a little bit. I come up against her all the time and I just have so much trouble. So I think she's definitely going to be worth it for me to learn. And she also fills out one of the roles that I have trouble filling out, and that is tanks and brawlers. I tend to not have a whole lot of experience with, so when we need one, I usually end up being more of a hindrance to our team than anything else. This time, we're actually going to look at our talents. I'm going to remember it, because I'm not going to say anything until we get there. I'm not going to start my end of the match spiel. All right. So our talents today were level 1 war paint to allow us to get 30% health back every time we auto attack. 
focused attack, allowing us to hit for more, getting a critical attack every 10 seconds, also healing for more, based on war paint. Poisoned Spear, allowing us to do a substantial amount of extra damage anytime we land our Spear. Wrath of the Berserker, 40% extra damage as long as you can keep that active. Life Funnel, because they had a big lack of CC, so we got huge amounts of health back from that. And of course, Nerves of Steel, to give us a little bit more of tank tankiness to our build. We would have been taking Ignore Pain at level 20 to increase that tankiness, but thankfully, we never had to get there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that sub button as well as the bell to make sure you get notifications anytime we go, well, I was going to say go live, anytime we upload a new episode. And of course, if you want to see any Heroes of the Storm content live, we do stream here on this channel Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Central. Hopefully we'll see you guys there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you all next time.